do you struggle to remember the difference between an energy store and an energy transfer? It's quite a tricky concept and you need to be really clear on both and when to refer to each one in your work and any answers on tests. Now, very simply, there are seven stores of energy and four main ways you need to know that energy is transferred between these stores. We're going to take a look at the stores. They're the pictures that are in front of us. Now, really simply, an energy store is a way energy can be kept in a system. So the seven stores are all ways that it can be kept, meaning that these are the following. First one that we're going to talk about is gravitational potential energy store. Then you've got a chemical energy store, a kinetic energy store, an elastic energy store, a magnetic energy store, a thermal energy store and an electrostatic energy store. And those images give you an example of each and you can transfer from one store to another and you need to be able to identify these in the examples you are given. Now, these stores are all transferred by one of four methods. So either by heating, mechanically, electrically, and with the aid of either light and or sound. Okay, so to have a look at a complete transfer energy, energy transfer example, we're going to take a look at this picture, the skier. OK, now a skier has a has energy in its gravitational potential energy store at the top of the mountain. And when they move down the mountain, they transfer their energy to the kinetic energy store. OK, and you would be you'd need to label those two stores. So another example of this is an electrical circuit in this electrical circuit, chemical energy is transferred from its store in a battery and it's transferred electrically through the circuit to a kinetic energy store in the motor. This is an example up here of what the motor actually looks like because the diagram you've got here is a symbol diagram. Okay, And this energy from the motor is then transferred to the thermal energy store as the motor's parts have rubbed together, releasing heat. Now, a couple of other examples that you need to be aware of um, for the transfers is that mechanically, when an energy transfer happens mechanically, it's when a force makes something move. So an example of that could be a wind-up toy. And another transfer is when... Um, energy is transferred from a hot object to a cold object and it increases the object's temperature. OK, so remember that those transfers happen mechanically, by heating, electrically and light and sound. And then also remember that these transfers occur between these seven stores in different examples and you might be given different examples like a wind up toy or an electrical circuit or a skier that you'd be a, you'd be expected to be able to explain we hope that helps you with your energy stores did you know that you can purchase our physics worksheets answer sheets and checklists which accompany all of our science revision lessons which have been created for years seven eight and nine these essential digital downloads are grouped by topic and are available from our online shop at inmyelement-uk.com if you've got any questions just drop me an email and i'll be more than happy to help